Hi, I'm Eric with Commercial Roof USA. I'm here on a commercial roof today, and this is a metal roof. And um, now the metal roof was starting to show its age, so the people decided, you know, they need to, you know, do something about it. So they went with a silicon coating. Now the here's the exact reason why we don't recommend putting a coating on this. Now they put a coating, and it looks pretty nice. If you look everywhere, it looks uniform. It looks very nice. But the, the issue comes three, four, five years later, and this is exactly what happens. I think this is the fifth year, and this is what happens. You get tiny holes uh, in the silicone, and then it holds the water, and then it starts rusting through. And here's a perfect example right here where we opened it up, and like you can see it just folds back, and look how wet it is in here. And look at all this rust. You see that? It's starting to go through. I can feel it here. There's water sitting here right now. And the problem is it doesn't get a chance to evaporate, it doesn't go away, so it rusts through even more. Look, how, look at the puddling, and it goes all the way down in there. All right, and he, um, let me show you another example. This is how it looks like before we rip it open. Right here, you can see, like there's just a pin prick, like a little hole here. You can see it's crunchy in here because that's where all the rust is. So there are several issues with uh, silicone. And another problem is when you get to the joints, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay. Here's another issue. Right here, it's impossible to get the silicone to sit properly right here where the riser lip is. And you can see... This is why we can't recommend coatings because what it does is it basically just holds the water there and then with the heat from the sun and with the, uh, the moisture there, it just, it's going to go through even quicker. You would have been better off without anything on this roof. Uh, we, we actually would have preferred it that way because now when you have to do a repair, now what we have to do is we have to come in here, we have to grind off all of this, uh, the silicone, which is a big mess, and then we have to get the rust off of there with even more problems and fix the holes that the rust has made. And then we can start patching it. So this has become a bigger problem because they decided to coat it instead of trying to fix the actual problem. Here we've done one of our patches already and the process that we do is first we have to get the silicone off and um, and then we have to grind down the metal because of all the rust that was on there and fix the holes and then what we did was we put down our uh, adhesive that you can see our, here on the sides and then we put down our modified bitumen membrane. Now the reason we use this and why this will work where the silicone did not because a membrane won't go through like the silicone will. The silicone, as you could see when I showed you over there, you know, just a simple, small little pinprick of a hole caused the problem. This, nothing's gonna uh, pierce through this, and even if it did, there's the uh, adhesive under here, and the water can't get underneath this. This can stay like this for the next 20 to 30 years, and nothing will happen. Silicone breaks up, and just the, uh, the sheer thickness of our material also is going to prevent anything from going through. The silicone, I don't even know, I don't know how thick that is, but you can see, let me grab a piece here. You can see how thin that is. That's going to get eaten up by UV and uh, UV rays in no time. This, our membrane already has UV protection and it's three millimeters thick, as well as having um, adhesive, petroleum-based adhesive underneath that, which adheres to metal very well.